how do you reach out to people in your business? Um, I'm going to explain kind of my experience of what's been happening um, with me recently and also uh, how we do it. So <laughs> there's, and I see this on LinkedIn and you know, if you're on LinkedIn, I'm sure you're already experiencing this where basically you get like, a, you know, you'll either get a connection request or you'll get an in-mail and it's like, bang, here's my stuff, go buy it. And it's like, hey, we generate a million leads for businesses. You know, we can help you. Click here to go book an appointment and talk to me. I, if it works for you, absolute more power to you. I, you know, fine, whatever. I, I'm. <laughs> I think it's awful. I think it's absolutely terrible. I think any company doing that should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. Here's the thing, it's just picture it, and I want anybody that's ever done this, and I have done this in the past, and I no longer do this, but think about it. This is almost akin to somebody walking in your house with a sandwich board onto them, saying, buy my, buy my stuff. Walking in and just following you around your house. It's like, I haven't invited you in, I don't know who you are, I don't care about who you are, and at this point, with that kind of uh, approach, I'm not even interested even if you're the best there is. And this is a, this is a thing that happens. I mean, I, I, like I've had probably, oh hang on, I can actually check. I think I've had, so far today, I've had one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's, it's two o'clock now, and I have had seven DMs on Instagram, all trying to sell me stuff right out the gate. There's, I mean, a couple of them have probably said, hi, how are you? And then bang, it's it's the pitch. Uh, LinkedIn today already, uh, I've had uh, I've had four in-mails pitching me straight away. Uh, two of the connections I've got so far today, uh, and I've probably got, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 or 11, I don't know. I don't know how many I've had today. Um, two of them were pretty much connections, following up on an in-mail um, or in the connection request, it's like, buy my stuff. I, nobody cares about you. Nobody, uh, I, at that point, I've never heard of you. And when you're approaching people in this manner, you've got nothing. So what you're doing is you're just playing the cold calling game. And there's no need to, because it's like, there has never been a time cheap enough that you can get in front of people on one of these things. You can set up like simple uh, brand and awareness campaigns. Heck, you can do it on Google, you can do it on uh, Facebook, and you can just get your name out there. Now, if anybody, and it's so stupidly cheap, if anybody engages with you, sure, then target them. Target them and go, hey, you know, I noticed you engage with us, you know, is there, is there anything I can help you with? When I, when I have people connect with me, or I connect with somebody, I will, if I've forgotten to do this with you, I'm very sorry. But if on LinkedIn, as an example, if I've connected with you, and uh, normally I'll just go, you know, hey, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I don't need to sell. You have to learn that me and like the Goodall agency, which is my marketing agency, we know what we're doing, right? But there's no point in me telling you. I could tell you that when it comes to branding awareness and taking an audience at a, at a very large scale and very, quickly um, bringing it down a funnel into a monetized audience where you can actually generate sales where people are coming through to you pre-sold I could tell you that all day long you're not gonna care because you don't know I can do that and so however many times I would contact you on this going hey book a call with me now and I can get you all these leads I you're not gonna care and so and this is the big big change in terms of mindset with companies is that you've got to be able to prove before you ask somebody for the sale you've got to prove that you actually know what you're talking about otherwise you're no different from everybody else and you have to stand above it and you know in the space we're in and we traditionally you know we run um we run more facebook and uh, display advertising and content creation and distribution um, in that space, it's massively crowded. And we are definitely one of the more expensive agencies to use. 
But we get there because what we're doing is we're putting stuff out there to go, this is what we do, okay? I'm not asking you to buy from us. The chances are most of the people that will read our stuff will never buy from us. But that's okay because the whole point of it is what we're trying to do is show that we're an expert in that field. And so the whole point of me sort of making this video is I kind of just, I, I want people to understand how much damage you're doing to a, your own brand if you use that technique of just hammering people with emails to buy my stuff. If you're going onto Facebook and you're going straight out to go, you know, sign up, you know, now to, you know, to engage my company in, in Facebook marketing or buy my e-course or whatever. It's, and I get it, right at the very beginning, you kind of have to do that. I do understand that to a point. The problem is, is that companies kind of get hooked on it. I, 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 a friend of mine actually used to say that, that leads quite often are very similar to crack, which is like a terrible example, I guess, really. But, but it is that, that you kind of get hooked on just needing those leads to come through and you're too scared then to venture out into the branding world. But the reality is you go look at all the big companies and look at what their branding budgets are. It's massive and there's a reason because it works. You can get in front of people the same way that Coca-Cola, Apple, Amazon and everybody else get in front of people and you can compete with them directly because this is where people live. People don't live on the TV anymore. People don't live in newspapers anymore. All of that stuff, radio advertising, all of that, it's, that's done. It's, it's absolutely done. This is where everybody sits. I know back in 2011, I remember reading um, uh, 2000, 2011, 2012, average time on Facebook was like 20 minutes. Now it's like an hour and a half, two hours a day. It's crazy. It's like this is where people live and you can get in front of them so cheaply. So I guess my thing here is please stop just sending this cold junk mail to people, right? Stop jumping. You've got the chance to get in front of somebody rather than getting in front of them and immediately trying to monetize them, why not get in front of them and show you actually what you're worth? Because you are worth so much more than what your ads say. Because your ad is just buy now. Whereas when you get in front of them and you can go, hey, you know what, you've got this problem, this is how you fix it. And then you might need to show them a few other problems of how they fix. But when they come to you, they're pre-sold. They already know you've got the answer. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, you know, I would hope that you've got, uh, you know, some kind of reactions uh, to this. I, I know most people hate being cold called. Um, it, you know, it's just the thing I've noticed, certainly on LinkedIn and Instagram, it's got really bad. And it's it's to the point now where it is just, it's like, it's like, it's like shoving a newspaper ad in front of your face all the time. It's just, nobody cares about it anymore. So build value. Uh, not buy my stuff, okay?